The City of Des Plaines, Illinois, and its public library have a long-standing commitment to going green. In the summer of 2010, the Des Plaines Public Library took greenness to a whole new level. The Green Days of Summer included three months of green-themed events, programs, and resources for kids, teens, and adults. It seemed like the perfect time to talk to the residents of Des Plaines and ask them what green means. Morning, how are you today? Morning. I'm Marty Moylan, the mayor of Des Plaines. I've lived in Des Plaines approximately 30 years. To me, green means being environmentally friendly, recycling, bicycling, walking. We try to lead by example. Uh, the vehicle I use for the city is a hybrid. Uh, we have bicycle to work days, bicycle to school days. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate myself as a 10 and because we believe in not only recycling, but uh, my wife and myself and family, we try to do everything we can to be green. And I'll explain what the city is doing to go green. Curbside residential recycling collection, battery recycling drop-off, CFL recycling drop-off, annual watering day restrictions, annual Arbor Day tree plant, mm -hmm. electronic recycling events, mm -hmm. household hazardous recycling collection okay. centers, Idling gets you nowhere. The City of Des Plaines became a Tree City USA. But we formed a Keep Des Plaines Beautiful Commission. In 2007, Des Plaines Mayor signs the Greenest Region Compact. Yes, it's a, it's a uh, compact with other agencies to be one of the greenest cities around. We also, the city also purchased a uh, gas, um, a natural gas vehicle and which one of our inspectors uses today. I see the city in 10 years green-wise using all our environmental services uh, more wisely. We will be more fuel efficient. Hopefully we'll have a, a wind farm or a windmill running public services. Uh, more green and hybrid vehicles for city departments. Working in conjunction with our library, we are the leader in the northwest suburbs of going green. They can come to our famous library right here and get more information. Heather, Holly, and Karen will be glad to help you out. My name is Jennifer. I try not to print so much stuff off the computer and the printers. Just getting rid of the old fashioned light bulbs. Okay. I'm Bonnie. I, I think the idea is to create a sustainable environment for our kids. And we do recycle plastic and aluminum, newspaper. Like you, we have the light bulbs. I wish we were doing more. My name is Vanessa Sanchez, and I've been living in Des Plaines um, basically my whole life. I live with my husband. Um, we've been married for a year now, okay. so we're newlyweds. What green means to me, when I think of green, I think of organic. I think of natural. I started seeking out green mostly in like beauty products. I also started looking into it for just like a simple headache. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just turn to, you know, the Advil or I wanted, I, I started going to um, these natural stores and seeing how I can improve my eating and, um, you know, live a healthier life by what I eat and what I consume. I was uh, sick at least once a month, and I always have like that common cold. So when I went to the natural store, I um, picked up echinacea. Mm -hmm. From then on, I was like, wow, this really works, mm -hmm. even like carpooling. Um, if we go to you know the store, you know, and there's several of us, let's all just come in one car, you know. Mm -hmm. My friend and I used to live together. We would go to work together, and we would come back. And I do. I love flea markets. <laughs> It's fun to look at um, things that not only are less expensive than if you were to go to a store. It's, it's, it's been like recycled. It's not just going to go to the garbage. Some could be garbage for them and for me it could be a treasure. So even like garage sales are fun. Yeah. I should really start you know, paying more attention and doing this more and um, even teaching my friends and my family what I do. You know, They might not even know unless I tell them. 
my name is Bhavini Patel and her name is Heer Patel and green means like using recyclable bags like cloth bags uh, less use of plastic like bottles you could use the stainless steel bottles and like less use of paper and we need to give a clean environment for our uh, kids I guess going green would be uh, recycling going paperless would be good recycling your water to water your plants so that you don't have to reuse all your water using biodegradable bags for your litter and and uh, you're picking up your dog's poop. <laughs> I'm Mary McAlevey. I've lived uh, here about 44 years. I got this rain barrel. You put it under a downspout and it has a screen and a little cap so it keeps the mosquitoes out. And so the water from the downspout goes into there and then you have a, a spigot down here for the heat for your uh, sprinkling can. This other outlet is for if you want to soak a hose. I think we would go back to horse and buggy, but River Road. <laughs> it's called the earth machine. You want the uh, temperature in the center to be maybe 190 or something like that. Then it decomposes, put coffee grounds in there, then a layer of dirt. I go to the senior center and play bingo, and they give me their coffee crowns after <laughs> Table scraps, anything green. You, you can't put anything like meats or, you know, it's mostly just scraps from your table from vegetables, and banana peels are good. I keep it like moist, like a soggy sponge or something like that. And then you, you stir it about once a week, and then you take out the, you know, take that out mm. from the bottom. You spread it around your garden. Uh, it acts like a mulch. Mm -hmm. But I spread the compost in through here on the flowers. And then my neighbor had his tree taken down, so I said, what are you going to do with all that ground up stuff? Well, I'm going to put it on the garbage. So I said, put it over the fence and I'll spread it. <laughs> you can even buy a push mower now rather than a gasoline mower. Mm -hmm. I did as a kid. The challenge is because I'm getting older, but I like being outside. So the challenge is for me to not be sitting around a lot where I get stiff. <laughs> it makes you feel better to be out, to go outside and you know play in the yard or. Hi, I'm Lynn Rubio. To me, green is leaving the earth in a better state for my children than it is now. Green to me means recycling and reusing. You need to reuse the resources so that you don't run out of them. Green means to me, lusher side streets. I definitely think that the actions of one person could make a difference. Our future looks very bright. Part of the, the right, uh, right, right. problem of the job, you know, bees, mosquitoes, whatever you got. Pollinators, <laughs> we wouldn't have pollinators without That's the pollinators. That's right. Yeah.